Hi everyone, my name is Santiago Pozantonio from the Department of Natural Resources and Environment at the University of Vigo, Spain. In this talk entitled Cleaning of Lichens on Ski Surfaces from Fosco and Sega Verde Archaeological Sites, I will show the results obtained with engineers and lichenologists from the Applied Physics Department from the University of Vigo. Master Pablo Barreiro, PhD Graciela Paz Bermúdez, and PhD Pio González. Starting with the introduction, I want to introduce you our case study. The Spanish archaeological site Siega Verde and the Portuguese archaeological site Foscoa have petroglyphs from the Upper Paleolithic. For this reason, both are included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. Petroglyphs from, the, from these sites have animal and anthropomorphic forms, such as extinct aurochs, goats, deer, and mythological hybrid uh, creatures. These forms are engraved mainly in skis outcrops, as we can observe in these images. In the vicinity of the petroglyphs, the growth of lichens mosaics can be observed. These lichens can cover the engravings and damage the surfaces. Specifically, in both sides, it was possible to find lichens belonging to the same genus, such as Caloplaca, Santoparmelia, Circinaria, etc. Even in both sides, it was possible to find the same lichen, for example, Santoparmelia pula, Santoparmelia conspersa, Circinaria hoffmaniana. So, in order to decrease the effects associated to the biological growth and to preserve the appearance of the engravings, cleaning must be performed. Traditionally, the cleaning methods uh, can be classified as those using chemical products and laser ablation. Uh, regarding the chemical cleanings, uh, biocides, mainly quaternary ammonium-based products, are the most used chemical products to devitalize biological growth before their removal from archaeological surfaces. They are characterized to be easy to implement and fast, and they can be applied in large areas. As drawbacks, uh, biocides can induce chemical contamination, harms to the stone due to different processes such as dissolution, oxidation, etc. Even they can show uh, health risks. As a recent uh, cleaning method, we have the laser ablation, uh, which has shown satisfactory cleaning effectiveness to remove weak biological colonization composed by algae and cyanobacteria. As advantages, we can cite uh, that this method uh, avoids mechanical contact, which is very important in poorly cohesive surfaces. Also, laser did not introduce new substance or byproducts, uh, and it is a selective and gradual method. Regarding its drawbacks, it is, uh, it is important to highlight that it is a slow procedure, so it is necessary time and money. Moreover, by effects such as fusion and or extraction of mineral grains can be found. Therefore, uh, this research saw two main objectives. First, to determine the effectiveness of in situ cleaning with commonly used biocides and two neodymia wavelengths, specifically uh, 1064 nanometers and 266 nanometers, uh, which uh, are applied uh, to devitalize lichens prior to the removal from skin art outcrops. Uh, we were careful to carry out the cleaning actions on typical saxicolous lichen mosaics growing on the schist uh, from these two sites. Uh, it is important to highlight that the cleaning effectiveness uh, was evaluated considering the significant extraction of the lichens, avoiding damages uh, to the substrate. And then a second objective, uh, we determined the durability of these cleanings after four years. 
starting with materials and methods uh, regarding the chemical cleanings uh, used uh, in both in both sites. Uh, firstly, we, we performed the selection of a wall with typical lichen mosaics, and then uh, in these walls uh, we select uh, four uh, areas of seven by seven centimeters in order to apply in each area each different cleaning procedure. One area was cleaned with uh, ethanol at 50% uh, in distillate water. Another one was cleaned with benzyl chloride at 3% in distillate water. And I other, clean, other area was cleaned with biotin tea at 3% uh, in distillate water. Also, it is important uh, to say that in addition, an area was cleaned with distilled water to be used as a control during these four years. After application of each uh, of, of each product, uh, all the areas were covered by a black plastic sheet uh, for three hours to avoid the evaporation of the products. Next, surfaces were rinsed with distilled water and cleaned uh, with a plastic barber brush. A wooden rod was then used to mechanically remove the remains with firmer adhesion to the surfaces. For the surface clean with biotin tea and benzalconium chloride, once clean, they were neutralized using a spray with ethanol at 50% uh, in distilled water to avoid chemical contamination from chloride salts. Here in this slide, uh, we have the selection of the laser uh, use. Uh, first, two samples with a representative lichen mosaic of each site were collected to be cleaned in a laboratory with a nanosecond pulse duration neodymium jack laser. This laser has a repetition rate of 10 Earth and a pulse duration of 6 nanoseconds. Attending to the wavelength used, it was applied the fundamental harmonic at 1, 1064 nanometer, which is an infrared radiation, and the fourth harmonic uh, which, uh, at uh, 266 nanometers, which is a ultraviolet uh, radiation. With uh, these two wavelengths, areas of seven by seven centimeters was performed. Then the surfaces cleaned were evaluated before cleaning, 24 hours after cleaning, and four years after cleaning. It is important to say that all these uh, analytical techniques were applied in situ. So they are non-invasive techniques and they are portable techniques. Uh, the, the analytical protocol used uh, start uh, with uh, the direct observation using a hand lens with 10 times magnification using also basic reagents. Then color spectrophotometry was applied to detect color changes and to determine the effect of the cleaning methods on the color of the surface. The parameters measured were lightness, uh, the L, uh, that uh, give us information uh, from uh, a poor white color to a black color. Uh, we measure also the polar coordinates A and B. A shows the color position between green and red, and B between uh, and the, the parameter B, uh, the position between um, blue and yellow colors. The parameter chroma. C shows the saturation of the color. It means if a color is more intense or paler. In this case, a scatter plots using lightness and uh, uh, chroma were used, uh, detailing the position of the color uh, measured on, on the original schist and after both time lapses, 24 hours and four years after cleaning. Then Raman spectroscopy, uh, was used to detect organic remnants on the treated surfaces uh, and also to determine the recolonization of the surface after four years. 
Uh, starting with the results, in the case of the direct observation, uh, we, here we have the direct observations from Ciega Verde, and this uh, allowed to identify that the biocytes and the water achieve uh, satisfactory results in terms of lichen extraction, because in all the cases, remains on, of the complete structure of some lichens were not identified. Just uh, it was observed, as we can observe in the images of the of the left part, uh, just an orange white discoloration was identified regardless of the biocide use. Uh, and this orange uh, coloration was associated to algal layer, layer and medulla. Uh, as we can observe in the photographs on the right part, during the cleaning of the lichens, the application of the biotinte induced a color change toward to pinkish orange of the folios lichen dermatacarpum uh, miniatum, uh, showing that this uh, uh, biocide is working during uh, already when it is applied on the surface. So after four years, in general, the cleaning level achieved by the chemical treatment was maintained over time. Uh, and as we can observe in the case of the benzalconio chloride uh, treated surfaces in the, in the bottom of this slide, um, the small tally left uh, around the, the area clean, as we can observe here with a rectangle, after four years, this uh, organic matter disappeared. Uh, as we can observe in the rectangle, in the uh, right photograph. Um, in Foscoa surfaces, the results were similar to those detected in Sega Verde. It is important to highlight that during the cleaning, as the schistosity planes of this wall uh, were perpendicular to the surface, the mechanical action by the brass induced an intense dragging uh, of the earth between planes. Uh, and after four years, uh, it was possible to observe uh, with a detailed study of the surfaces, a small tally of aspicilia and circinaria, mainly in the fissures that they, they start to be open after the cleaning. Attending to the laser cleaning, here we have the results for the Sega Verde stones. The, res the results were not as positive as those obtained by the biocytes and the water, even just 24 hours after cleaning. It was obtained that the cleaning with uh, 1,064 uh, nanometers achieved the best results in, ter in terms of the leaking extraction, as we can observe in these uh, photographs of the uh, left part. But unfortunately, groups were also detected on the surface. So uh, we are damaging the surface of the stone. Some burn, uh, remains were kept on the surface, as we can observe in this photograph with a white color. And the cleaning with the ultraviolet radiation, uh, 266 nanometers, was completely unsatisfactory. As we can observe, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, lichen remains, uh, incomplete lichens on the surface. Uh, for the for the surfaces uh, after four years, and uh, those uh, the surface clean with uh, 1,064 nanometers, it was possible to observe a regrowth of some lichens, such as Tirzena Hoffmaniana or Mirikirica deusta. For the sample cleaned with uh, 266 nanometers, the lichens, uh, which uh, kept on the surface after the laser application, were clearly recovered after the four years. Sorry. And uh, on the other hand, uh, as we can observe here with this rectangle, here after the fourth, uh, after the 20, uh, 24 hours after cleaning, it was possible to observe some uh, lichen remains. But four years later, these remains disappear. Uh, 
for the samples from Foscoa, the recolonization was more intense than that detected in the Sega Verde samples. Even it is possible to observe a clearly recover uh, or a, a, um, of the lichen uh, of the of the lichen on the surface uh, after four years. In the case of the surface cleaning with two hundred sixty with sixty six nanometers. In the slide, uh, we in this slide we have the color represented by scatter plots using the values for lightness and chroma. In the upper line, we have some graphs uh, from Sega Verde surfaces, and at the bottom we have some plots for the Foscoa surfaces. As we can observe rapidly, a number of the methods allow the recovery of the skis color. The black circles are the color of the original schist. Uh, the yellow squares are the measurements 24 hours after cleaning, and the red uh, triangles are the color of the surfaces four years after cleaning. It was observed that in Ciega Verde uh, surfaces, the color of the treated surfaces are closer to the original skis than those measured in Foscoa site, where the different steps are farther away from each other. As was expected, the color of the area treated with laser uh, are farther away from the color of the original screen from those cleaned with biocide and water. The surface with the better color recover. Sorry. Uh, the surface with the better color recovering were those cleaned with benzyl chloride. Therefore, this surface should be the cleaner ones. With Raman spectroscopy, it was possible to detect the presence of organic remains on the surface 24 hours after cleaning and the recolonization of the surfaces four years later due to the fluorescence appear in the initial part of the spectra, as we can observe in the, uh, in the lichen spectra uh, that measure for both uh, sides. For Sega Verde, this fluorescence appear in the spectra of the surfaces cleaned with water Ethanol, uh, sorry, water 24 hours after cleaning. Ethanol, regardless of the time lapse. Benzalconio chloride 24 after cleaning, 24 hours after cleaning. Biotin T 24 half hours after cleaning. Uh, for Foscoa uh, spectra, uh, for Foscoa cleaning, Raman spectra from all the cleaned surfaces saw a fluorescence uh, with exception of those cleaned with biotin T after four years. In the laser treated surfaces, regardless of the site, the wavelength, and the time lapse, fluorescence was detected in all the spectra. So, uh, Considering the conclusions obtaining in this uh, in this work, the harmfulness and durability of cleaning on skis are influenced by the orientation of schistosity planes, mainly for chemicals applied using a brush, earth dragging from the fissures among schistosity planes once they are superpendicular to the surfaces affects the color and the resulting cavities enhance lichen recolonization. And the most effective and durable effects were obtained with the biocidal treatment with biotin T and benzalconium chloride. So thank you very much for your attention, and I will be very glad to answer the question arise. Thank you very much.